quick tutorial on how to export a movie from QuickTime. Now, I already have my movie done. I've already done whatever editing I want to do. Editing is a subject for another tutorial entirely, so I'm not going to be talking about that here. What you want to do when you're all done with your movies, you want to go up to where it says Share, because you are exporting this to share with others, and you have a lot of options here. Ignore most of them. What you want to do is go to where it says export movie to QuickTime. Now where it says export movie, that might be what you think you're supposed to use, but they like to export that into formats that are really proprietary, let's say. That means they'll play just fine on any iOS device, iPads, iPhones, anyone using iTunes will be able to play it just fine. But not everyone has a device that plays those formats, so it's much more universal to choose export using QuickTime and then you get a hopefully very familiar menu where it asks you what you want to name it it will have a suffix for you already leave the suffix like it is don't change that uh, you will have some options down here which I'll get into later for early projects don't bother changing the formats however it's set up is just fine so, as far as our assignments are concerned. Click Save and it will begin exporting the project. Now depending on the length of your movie and what effects you've added to it, this can take a while. This is estimating 22 minutes. Does that mean it's going to take 22 minutes? <laughs> Might not. You see it's already down to 21 minutes. Uh, computers are very dumb when it comes to guessing how much time is remaining for doing a particular task. However, this is not going to be a quick export so make sure when you're about to export a movie that you're doing it closer to the first half of class and the last half of class so that it's not still working when it's time for you to leave any questions go ahead and ask